Hello, my name is Father Ben. I'm the rector at St. Francis Episcopal Church in Macon, Georgia. Today is my weekly message for our Friars Messenger. I don't know if you hear that noise in the background, the birds, but there's also a, a strange noise, and that is the cicadas. So, uh, the gospel uh, for morning prayer this morning uh, was, is from Matthew chapter 5. And it is a basically a notation Jesus is making on a previous gospel that was read on, uh, on Monday of the Beatitudes. And if you remember the Beatitudes uh, was uh, blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are the meek for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of God. So these are the blessings, uh, and it is a way of living for the Beatitudes and to them uh, based, on, based on how we treat other people. And, you know, it's a funny thing. Uh, there's all this call for the Ten Commandments to be posted in schools and classrooms. Uh, it looks to me like it would be better to post the Beatitudes and how we live and move and have our being in the world in a, a quiet and humble uh, relationship and a deeper relationship with people. Uh, but nobody asked me. The gospel for this morning, Jesus is uh, saying that, you know, to uh, if unless your righteousness exceeds that of the religious leaders and interpreters of his time, and I will say of our time as well, because many are espousing hateful speech, uh, misogynistic speech, uh, divisive speech, which is just antithetical to the Beatitudes. And it is all of this, the righteousness that Jesus speaks of is how we live with each other. How we live with each other is also how we live with God. And treating each other with, with respect, respecting the dignity of every human being. Uh, and I'm going to go and respecting the dignity of the earth how we live on it and with it. So today, uh, as we live and move and have our being in the world, let us walk softly and humbly with those who are walking with us and not try to make them less than they are. Because most of the time, they are greater than the religious leaders who try to use them as examples of not what you want to be.